Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Salar Khan YouTube channel where today we continue the topic from the previous discussion. Now, uh, let me tell you one thing. I believe the schedule of uploading is right. Yes, three videos a week Monday, Thursday, Saturday. Yes, 5 p.m. Is that fine? If you have any problem with the timing, you can ask me. I will change it definitely. That's not a problem. Monday, Thursday, Saturday. Yes, yes. Okay. Coming to a question. The table given this table. This is a separate. This one. The table shows what the connected load and its average use for a small mechanical workshop which operates when from 9 to 4. Okay, so equipment is given, you have a light, you have a fan, lathe machine, milling machine and an air conditioner. The rating is given 100 watts, 100 watts, 10 horsepower, 15 horsepower, 10 horsepower. AC should not have been in horsepower, but anyways, it's given over here. And the number of appliances are given 10, 4, 1, 1, 1. So from here, you could, uh, you could find out the average, you could find out the total load of each. So 10 multiply 100 would be 1000, so which means it would be 1 kilowatts, right? Similarly, 4 multiply 100 would be 400 watts, or I would write as 0.4 kilowatts. Similarly, this 10 horsepower, so I would convert it into uh, kilowatts, so you have to multiply it with what? 0 0.746 horsepower. Multiply 0 0.746 gives you the kilowatts. So 10 multiply 0 0.746 would give me 7.46 of course in kilowatts. Similarly 15 multiply by that value would give me 11.2 kilowatts and this would give me again 7.46 kilowatts. So these are the total ratings. Now the usage is given. So 5 lights are on from 9 to 4 and then you have one additional from 2 to 4 so which means that you have six slides from 2 to 4 so I would write over here one additional similarly over here also one additional so two are operating from 9 to 4 with one additional uh, 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 two from 9 to 4 two fans from 9 to 4 and one additional from 1 to 4 so which means you have three from 1 to 4 right and then you have what you have a lathe machine it starts at 10 so it would go for one hour with one hour interval which means 10 to 11 it would run 11 to 12 it would not be present then 12 to 1 it would be on 12 to 1 to 2 it would not be on so this is the case similarly for the other two so you can have what you can have the same sort of an hourly graph as we had in the previous one which means you do what you take it from 9 to 10 1 interval 10 to 11 11 to 2 and similarly 3 to 4 so this way you will understand understand it in a better way right yes anyways so the uh, the question is to find the connected load find the maximum demand find the demand factor daily energy consumption and the load factor so let's get into it so first of all the connected load is what the connected load is this thing the overall this thing so pt connected load would be 1 plus 0.4 plus 7.46 plus 11.2 plus 7.46 this comes out to be 27.52 27.52 kilowatts is my total connected load to the system the maximum demand you could see is what is 11.2 is 11.2 right no 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 sorry sorry this is the connected load when you do it from uh, on that hourly basis on that hourly basis so you will see you will see that the maximum demand and, and this is the same as that in the previous video example so the maximum demand was what 19.56 we've already seen it i believe i've made a mistake so 19.56 and this occurs between where between two to three two to three this maximum demand is occurring and we have seen this in the previous video the demand factor fd would be what so we've seen this, we've seen this, the demand factor would be FD would be PM upon PT. So, so 19.56 upon 27.52 and this would be what? 0.71 or if you want to express it in percentage, so 71%. 
now uh, uh, the energy consumed would be what so you have what power multiplied by time energy consumed is the power multiplied by time so if you draw it on the hourly basis you will have the powers and you multiply it with a number of hours so i had this in the previous one so it came out to be what as 8.16 multiply 1 plus again i had 8.16 multiply 1 i am not writing multiply 1 so 11.9 multiply 1 plus 15.62 multiply 1 plus 0 0.8 multiply 1 plus 19.56 again uh, not again 19.56 and then 8.36 so the total energy units consumed comes out to be 72.56 kilowatt hour now i did a final energy is equal to power into time power from each hour interval and time is one hour so each of them is multiplied with one so this is also done now the load factor so the load factor fld is e divided by pm into t so e is 72.56 pm is 19.56 T, these are talking about the daily load factor, so 24 hours. We are going the daily calculations. So 0.15, which means 15 percent is the load factor. This is low because there is no usage of electricity for 17 hours in the day. They, it is only being used from 9 to 4, so which means for 17 hours in the day, the electricity is not being used. Which means what? I told you if this is low, this is showing you an uneven usage of electricity. And by uneven I mean what that you are having a load at some interval and you have no load for the rest of the interval so this is low which is not good this should be high you should have uniform low load throughout the time interval this is example number one example number two states what considering this table for a residential consumer bulb is given you have 10 bulbs you have six fans you have two air conditioners you have a fridge you have a deep freezer you have a heater an iron toaster television pc water pump the ratings are given in watts individual ratings are given in watts so you can find out the total ratings you can find out the total ratings again by doing what by multiplying the individual rating with the quantity so i will write this in kilowatts so i will write this in kilowatt this would come equal to 1 kilowatt then you have a 0.66 kilowatts 4 4.4 0.14 0.16 1 1 1.2 0.14 0.1 and 0.375 so these are the total loads in terms of kilowatts depending on the rating per number of equipment and this is the quantity the number of equipments now what am i asked to find out where is it where is the question okay no not this one this one is the question you are given uh, the the total weight calculate his demand factor fd average load p and energy consumed e for a maximum demand is given this one load factor is given this one right yes so so first of all what do i need to do the demand factor demand factor fd is what fd is pm upon pt for this i need pt so pm is 4.35 for pt you need to do what sum all of them sum all of them pt is what pt is 10.175 you sum all of this you get 10.175 you get your demand factor what is the demand factor let me tell you this is 42.75 percent just to leave about the point this would be 42 percent for instance and also his uh, so fd is done so his daily uh, energy consumption would be what for power you need uh, for the average load you have to find out e first e divided by t right so i need e so e i can find out from the load factor formula e would be fld into maximum demand into time so i got fld is 20.2 multiply maximum demand is 4.35 multiply time is 24 the number of energy units are 20.88 let go the 20 so these are in kilowatt hours so do it 21 upon 24 
before the average load comes out to be 870 watts or 0.87 kilowatts so this is for part number one Part number A is done. Part number B states what? FLD is unknown. You have E, you have the same PM. So FLD formula, you know, FLD is PM divided, no, sorry, E divided by PM. FLD would be E divided by PM into T. E is what? Where is E is 10 kilowatt hours. Maximum demand is the same 4.35 time is 24. What, do, what does it come as to be? 9.5%. 9.5%. So this is done. The next is PM is unknown for FLD is given. FLD is given, time would be 24, PM is unknown, E is again 10 kilowatt hours. Do the calculations for yourself. PM comes out to be E divided by FLD into time. 24 FLD, uh, no, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. In the, yes, 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 yes. 0.6. This comes out to be what? 700 kilowatts. 700 kilowatts. Yes, yes. I hope this is clear. So these are only two. Let me get to the next example, please. The units consumed in one month, where should I write? Do you want me to remove the board first? Let me, oh, what happened? Nothing happened, nothing happened. No problem. I just moved and nothing happened. The, the, the mic, uh, this wire got stuck in the tripod. Anyways. Okay, the next example is what? The units consumed in one month. Let me write. The units consumed E is equal to what? Is equal to uh, units consumed 36,000 kilowatt hours. So 36,000 units are being consumed on a monthly basis. The reading of the MDI is 80 kilowatts. MDI is what? MDI is the maximum demand indicator. So this is basically fed with the with your meters to tell the, the maximum demand. So it tells you the maximum demand. What does it say? The reading of the MDI is 80 kilowatts. Calculate the monthly load factor. FLD is unknown. So FLD is what? E divided by PM into T. Month. Time is in months. So you have to get the hours in. Uh, the number of hours in a month. Right. So put down the values please. E is 36,000 for a maximum demand of 80 into time is 30 by 24 for instance. 720 this is this comes out to be 62.5%. Example, the peak load on a power station is 200 megawatts, maximum demand is 200 megawatts. If the annual load factor is 60%, 60% annually. So you need to keep uh, uh, an eye on annually, monthly, daily because the number of hours you will be putting based on that. Calculate the units dispatched annually. The units dispatched annually and the average load encountered by the station. So what do you have? FLD from the again the same formula. So from here now E would be equal to FLD into maximum demand into time. Load factor is given is 0.6. Maximum demand is 200 megawatts. You have to keep it in the kilowatts range. Keep it in the kilowatts range, okay? Into time would be 807, 8760 hours because the number of hours in a year are 8760. 365 multiply 24 is 8760. From here you have the number of units that would be 1051 into 10 to the power 6. Into 10 to the power 6 kilowatt hours, right? Yes, so now you can find out the average load P would be equal to E upon T 
1051 into 10 to the power 6 divided by the time is 8760 120 megawatts right yes sir a diesel generating station has an installed capacity of 40 megawatts. So installed capacity, take it as the connected load. 40 megawatts and a maximum demand of 20 megawatts. The units dispatched by the station are this much. Energy units are 60 into 10 to the power 6 units unit mean kilowatt hour and this is annually calculate the demand factor and the percentage load factor so fd is what it's pm by pt calculated and the load factor is what is uh, e divided by pm into t everything is given everything is given 20 divided by 40 would be 50 percent Put the values, the time would be for the year 8760. This comes out to be 34%. Yes, yes. Example. A 100 megawatt power station comprises of two 50 megawatt generating units and routinely delivers 100 megawatts for two hours and 50 megawatts for eight hours and is shut down for the rest of the day so which means the maximum demand is 100 megawatts maximum demand is given which is 100 megawatts right yes it is also shut down for maintenance work 60 days each year calculate the annual load factor FLD is unknown so from the formula FLD is E divided by PM into T so for this you need E first so E would be what is power into time E is power into time right so what do we have is that the power it is given over here that 100 megawatts for 100 megawatts for 2 hours in a day plus 50 megawatts for 8 hours in a day 8 fives are 40, 100 twos are 200 plus 40 is 200 and uh, no no this is 400 this is 400, 200, this comes out to be 600 megawatt hours. Right? Yes. Or I, I told you to write it in the kilowatts range. So 600, 10 to the power 3 kilowatt hours. Yes? Yes. Now, uh, these are the energy units dispatched daily. These are the energy units dispatched daily. 100 for 2 hours, 50 for 8 hours, shut down for the rest of the day. Now we are finding the annual load factor. So I will need to find the energy that is annually dispatched. So energy that is annually dispatched would be what? Would be this energy 600 multiplied with how many number of days? 600 into 10 to the power 3 multiplied with this is P into time would be what? Would be 365 minus 60 why because it is shut down for 60 days in a year so this comes out to be eight uh, no one eight three triple zero one eight three triple zero into 10 to the power 3 kilowatt hours this was the daily energy con uh, consumption and this one is for the year now why minus 60 365 minus 60 because for 60 days in a year it is shut down for maintenance work yes yes now you have the e you have the so now you can calculate the load factor fld would be e one eight three triple zero multiply 10 to the power 3 divided by maximum demand is 100 megawatts so 100 into 10 to the power 3 and time would be 8760 this would come out to be 20.89 i would write it as 21 percent is that fine is that fine i have a strawberry sorry let's go to the next example one from the book let's say a two from the book small examples the maximum demand on a power station is 100 megawatts 
एग्जाम्पल द मैक्सिमम डिमांड इज हंड्रेड मेगावाट इफ द एनुअल लोड फैक्टर इज फोर्टी परसेंट लोड फैक्टर इज फोर्टी परसेंट एनुअल कैलकुलेट द टोटल एनर्जी जेनरेटेड इन द ईयर सो यू नो द फॉर्मूला इज इक्वल टू एफ एल डी इन टू मैक्सिमम डिमांड इन टू टाइम ई इज इक्वल टू एफ एल डी पॉइंट फोर इन टू मैक्सिमम डिमांड हंड्रेड इन टू टेन टू दावर थ्री एंड टाइम वुड बी एट सेवन सिक्स जीरो फॉर एनुअल सो दिस एनर्जी कंजम्पन कम्स टू बी थ्री थ्री फाइव जीरो फोर इन टू टेन टू द पावर फाइव किलो वाट आवर्स नेक्स्ट अ जेनरेटिंग स्टेशन हैज अ कनेक्टेड लोड ऑफ फोर्टी थ्री मेगावाट्स फोर्टी थ्री मेगावाट्स इज द कनेक्टेड लोड अ पी टी मैक्सिमम डिमांड ट्वेंटी मेगावाट्स मैक्सिमम डिमांड इज ट्वेंटी मेगावाट्स द यूनिट जेनरेटेड आर सिक्सटी into 10 to the power 6 per year so this is annually calculate the demand factor and the load factor so the demand factor is unknown so that would be pm upon pt so 20 upon 43 mega mega would cancel out this is 0.46 or 46% the next is what the and the load factor so load factor would be what fld the second is e is 61.5 into 10 to the power 6 fld e divided by pm into t so 20 into 10 to the power 3 into 8760 and this comes out to be 35% this is 35% next example a 100 megawatt power station Delivers 100 megawatts for two hours, so this I have done, and 50 megawatts for six hours, and shut down for the rest of the day. So this is this example. It is also shut down for maintenance 45 days each year. So over here I took 60 days. Over here they have mentioned 45 days. Calculate the annual load factor. Right? Yes. So let's finish it over here. Let's finish it over here. I've got a little time. I've got a little tired. I will see you in the next video with the type of electric loads, residential, industrial, etc. So see you there very soon. Till then, take care of yourselves, everyone around you. Do remember me in your prayers. Do subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.